I want to get your take on this. So RH the other day, you know, we're always kind of encrypting his tweets and trying to figure out like what it is he's really talking about and things like that. So he did tweet about P die and uh, I cannot help but say it this way because Sami does it all the time and he's programmed my mind this way. But penis wrapped Bitcoin, as he calls it, uh, but it's the pulse wrapped Bitcoin version PWBTC on Pulse Chain. But Richard tweeted about both of them the other day. Um, obviously, P die people went nuts upon reading mm-hmm. the tweet, and I'll try to find it real quick and say, "Say, see, he's legitimizing it. Like this is what we thought all along. You know, he's." He's telling people to buy P die and get behind it. So of course they're going to say that. Um, others with I think what might be a more sensible approach are saying like, well, um, he, he's trying to get people to realize that they have copies again on Pulse Chain that they can come and you know whether they dump it or whether they get engaged with it or whatever, they have these copies on Pulse Chain that have both done very very well. Obviously P die and uh, PWBTC has done really really well too, um, especially recently. Um, so I don't think he is necessarily condoning buying them. I, I definitely actually don't think he's saying that, but he wants to bring people to the chain. Um, what to make of this. And then we didn't get a chance to talk too much about you kind of changing your outlook on PDI last week, just a kind of quick segment Ewok, but I'll just read Richard Hart's tweet on this. He just said, um, is this the right one or am I reading the right one or the wrong one? Um, nope, that's not the right one. Um, but I don't want to waste time. What What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that he was actually, um, you know, talking about like condoning buying PDI or what do you think he was talking about here? Um, again, I think we're in the washout phase. I think he wanted people to realize that they have some die and yeah. it's over here. And for those people that realize it and be like, oh, free money, let's go sell it. Um, I think he wants to wash those people out too. Um, the more and more that I hear, um, and this is kind of moving on to why I, I I decided to jump in. Um, and I'll tell you because I do respect Axis. Um, one of the people I respect in this community the most, probably, uh, for the work yeah. that he does and the the knowledge that he has. Um, I, I was listening to him. I don't know. It was a, a week or so ago before I before I decided to 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 get some, um, and the things that have been done with the contract before the before the fork happened, before Pulse Chain actually launched, um, there was work done with the make the group from Maker um, to do some things to the contract. Uh, there was money paid to Maker for for that, um, mm-hmm. so. My belief is that he was trying to get people to come over here, see what they had, and say, hey, sell it. Please get rid of it now. <laughs> uh, you know, I would rather some of these people, you know, do that than some of the big holders come in and realize that if it does go up a lot, uh, they'll have a lot more value and extract it and kind of defeat the purpose of it. Um, uh, again, I just, I, I think... I think there's a lot more going on and and in play than than what people are really aware of. Um, and I was blind to it for the longest time. I just thought there was a bunch of people that, uh, you know, doing this as a meme coin type thing um, and, you, you know, being blind to, to what happened. Um, and I had no idea. And now I, I think it's very interesting. Uh, I think it's... I think there are ways to... And there's it's very deep and it, it's a lot for me to even explain to that would even make sense but um the amount of wrapped ethereum that was on the chain at the time of the fork um that became pulse chain because all of the ethereum that was on the chain became pulse um so there's all that and then there's the the wrapped ethereum that also had value um, and all of that stuff kind of goes into the um, the backing of the die. Um, so it's kind of how the die is is minted, right? Um, right. When you when you get die, you put kind of collateral into the maker DAO, um, and it mints you your die. And then when you turn it back in, whatever it burns it. So that's kind of how it uh, that's kind of how it functions. It's a, it's a collateralized coin. So. 
that function though was turned off. There is a switch where you can turn it on and off. And that was part of the upgrades or whatever that were done uh, because it can't mint new yet uh, because there isn't a, a value that's set. Um, I think once it reaches that point, um, it will be turned back on. So it, it, it's interesting. Uh, and that's one of the things that I had said, why it would never peg is because it didn't have that. It didn't have that functionality. Uh, little did I know that there was work done on the contract um, to, to give it that functionality and a switch to turn it on and off. So, mm -hmm. you know, now that I know that, it, it changes perspective a lot. And, yeah, you, you know, I encourage other people to, you know, not necessarily just believe me, but look into it for yourself too. And um, it, it is very deep. And I, I think it is maybe one of the plans. Now, you know, I don't think this Maria, the dev, the 414 dev or whatever, um, and, and Richard, I don't think they're working together. Um, and I did hear Axis say that this was attempted on another chain um, and it didn't work. So, mm. you know, I, I don't know the chain that it was attempted on. So I, I don't know the background if the chain just kind of didn't pan out. Um and didn't they couldn't get any backing for it but again it'll be interesting to see how it works but yes i am i'm on the the p die train at least i bought a few and we'll see what happens you're on the ride yeah um i was I don't, jumped on lucky, for the ride that's the top i was lucky enough to buy um at, at the the big pullback after the mania last summer late summer fall and um had gotten a 10x or so out of it so far so i was pretty happy to see that and yeah, nice. yeah i mean i'm gonna ride the rest of it i mean the rest of the way I'm, I'm very interested to see where it goes we've talked about a lot on this show you know people usually shit on us in the comments um if it's a clip later on or something like that um maybe people that have done the research that you just kind of espoused right now you walk that we hadn't done at the time i mean either way whether you know all that stuff or not or you just see that there's like a burgeoning community about it that is hell bent and believing and seeing yeah. all this stuff. It really doesn't matter to me. Like to me, it's just like, okay, well, wow. I mean, these people are rabid about it. It's an interesting narrative. I want to be involved in some way. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that really. So, yeah. um, yeah, so good stuff. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I hope we do see that narrative. You know, we don't even say world's largest airdrop or anything like that anymore. Now, PulseChain.com, if you would link it on Twitter, I believe that's still like the interface that comes up if you were like commenting on somebody to try to promote Pulse Chain or whatever. Um, but I think it's Richard's attempt to try to get people over here more to see what they have because there's probably people with very large bags that have something over here that's done well that they yeah. have no idea about so well go um, pulse has a little campaign out too where they have something where you just plug your address in and you can see what you mm -hmm. have over here so it's it's nice to that they have that as well it would be fantastic to, de to see that narrative in some way come around in the bull market i'm just wondering if maybe we haven't seen if maybe like there needs to be a bigger season for pulse for, you know, whatever, some, one of these big things catches to where like a bigger yeah. channel starts to become a little bit obsessed with pulse. Not that we haven't seen that here and there, obviously Ben Armstrong talks about it. And then like Donovan, um, you know, is entrenched within the ecosystem and stuff like that. But I'm talking like, you know, ran or who knows right. who, whatever right. um not that we need that not that i care about that i'm just saying that like something i think has to catch on to get it really um in people's eyes as much as hex was the last bull market and i think that that may be when we see some of that stuff of people coming over here like holy shit i've had like this bag of this over here and i never knew it and now yeah. we're in the bull market and now it's worth like <laughs> tens of thousands potentially yeah. or something yeah so. it's pretty cool and, and yeah. you know, that is one thing that green candles will bring. There are plenty of mm -hmm. traders out there that some of these hexakins and, and pulsekins, whatever, they go into their chat, throw them a little super chat and say, hey, look into this coin. And they bring it up. And when there's green candles, they're like, holy shit, this looks really good. And I remember several of them that happening last cycle when, when Hex was, was doing its run up. And, you know, they were very moderate people. They were like like it or not this is what's happening <laughs> this thing's going crazy um and you know they would talk about it so that type of thing it, it all adds up right it's compounded between s several of them um 
it will it'll take that but yes i i think it'll happen again um and it will catch wind and then people will be over here and be like oh, that's pretty cool you know it's mm -hmm. it, everything works it's fast it's cheap it's um all these are like a erc or a prc contract that we could deploy stuff on 